morning everyone welcome back to another vlog today's date is tuesday august 22nd i have therapy in about 20 minutes so i'm gonna eat my breakfast and then attend my therapy session i have been using better help for three months now and i like it i would rather i think i would rather see a therapist in person but having a work schedule kind of prevents me from being able to make more regular therapy sessions so i do think that the online flexibility that's allowed is super helpful if i had the ability to go to an in-person session though i definitely would another thing i like to do during my therapy sessions is journal so i always have my bullet journal with me during a session and i'll kind of just write down any tips that she gives me or things that she wants me to work on yeah i don't know what we're going to talk about today probably just like me feeling kind of unmotivated and not really having much drive to do anything oh low social battery i just finished my therapy session and it actually went really well basically we talked about how i feel like right now i'm just experiencing a lot of changes if you really think about it the whole year of 2023 is a year of changes like graduating is a huge change obviously working full-time is a big change moving into a new city is a huge change not being in a long distance relationship anymore essentially like i just feel like a lot of things are changing right now and one of the things that is changing with all my life experiences is also i feel like my personality like i just am not as energetic and outgoing as i used to be i was watching and i i do this sometimes where i'll watch my old vlogs kind of just like to be nostalgic and to reminisce and a lot of the times i find myself missing the kind of person i used to be because i used to be so energetic and like eager and um high energy i don't know and i just i just don't feel like that's me anymore which is totally okay i mean people change i mean i i still have obviously like i still have moments where i'm very silly and goofy and high energy and hyper but i wouldn't say necessarily that's like my primary personality trait anymore by any means if anything i would say like my primary trait right now is i want to be dependable i want to be honest i want to be kind i want to be inclusive i i had a really nice talk with my therapist today i was telling her i was like you know what i know i'm being difficult with you right now like i know i'm not really giving you a lot to work with and she was like yeah you're kind of being a brat and i was like i am aren't i <laughs> like i really really am um, but I think her and I have developed a really good relationship where like we can talk about really, I don't know, just intimate things and like she can call me a brat and I'm like, yeah, Veronica, you're right. I kind of am a guitar right now. I always feel so good after I work out first thing in the morning, like my hair is all cleaned. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get like a tiny bit of work done at home first, then I will go to work. I'm Dr. Shiyaksha Asian, Medical School Admission Director. A little update. It's 1.30 p.m. and I'm starting to hit a little bit of an afternoon productivity lull. I think just oftentimes when I'm working from home, sometimes it can be a little challenging to stay engaged. Like I'll get distracted on my phone or on my laptop. I decided to just take a moment to like stand and stretch a little bit because I've kind of just been sitting at the computer. Like I even ate my lunch in front of the computer, which is a really bad habit, but I do it all the time. Yes, I'm taking a little stand break right now. Throughout the morning, I just worked on and computer work and i also began studying for the casper exam which is a situational judgment test all about ethics and morals that i have this sunday i've been watching a lot of youtube videos on how the casper test is formatted and also how to best answer it they give you 
kind of a template to follow and then also like one thing that is really helpful for preparing in the Casper exam is to be familiar with medical ethics and medical law so I've been watching videos about that took some notes on my iPad and I feel like a student again um, I think Sean is going to be in the city by around 4 p.m. so I still have a couple hours of my work day before he comes, I would like to go to the library and just rent out a book or two. I really like how my hair air dried today. I've been using um, a curling cream to manipulate my wavy hair and I really like how it turned out. We're going on a little date night tonight. I think we're doing yoga and quesadillas. Yes, he booked a yoga class somewhere in Knob Hill. It should be fun. Yeah, I'm feeling a little low energy today, I think. I've just been kind of low energy this entire week mentally not necessarily physically like I've been sleeping pretty well like sleeping for eight hours every night but I think mentally I'm a little more calm and low energy you can probably hear it in my voice I will say one thing that I do really love about working from home is that I notice I drink a lot more water than when I go to work because I put my water in this massive Starbucks I got this cup when I was a freshman in college. It was gifted to me by Nikki and Nico, two of my best friends, for Christmas. It's nearly 3 p.m. I'm also sipping on my second cold brew of the day. Essentially, what I've been doing today for work is I am re-uploading and rerunning a lot of sequencing outputs to get new quality control metrics and store that data. So it's just been a lot of upload computer work and like kind of sitting and staring at the screen which is totally okay i've also been able to utilize this time to study a bit more for the casper exam i started taking some notes on my ipad about what to expect for the casper test and also reviewing some medical ethics i'm uploading some files on my computer right now i'm just kind of waiting for them and then on this side is where i have all my study materials so like I mentioned earlier, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on what to expect for the Casper exam. I'm going to write a little bit more. I'm going to start taking notes on the 10 core competencies now. I also have my sweet little acrylic whiteboard. At the top, I wrote some affirmations down. And then at the bottom, I just wrote the four principles of medical ethics along with the three C's of medical law. I also have my bullet journal here that outlines everything that I want to get done for today. This second cold brew is definitely necessary. Hi guys, I'm about to finish up my work day. It is almost 5 p.m. I'm pretty content with the amount of work I've gotten done today. Um, Sean is almost here. I think he's like 10-ish minutes away. And we're doing a little date night tonight because we haven't really spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together recently. We don't really know what we're doing for date night yet. One idea was to do um, yoga in a cathedral in Knob Hill and then get tacos afterwards. And then another idea is to get dinner and watch Oppenheimer in Daly City. So I think when he gets here, we'll probably chat a little bit and decide which of those options we want to do. Oh, I guess if we went to Daly City too, we'd also be able to go to the beach. But yeah, we'll probably figure it out once he actually gets here. But regardless, it should be really fun. I'm excited to see him and to spend some quality time with him. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today's Wednesday, August 23rd. As you could probably tell from the clips, Sean came over last night and we did a little date night. We got dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings, v dubs and then we went and saw Oppenheimer, the new movie in the theaters. And yeah, he spent the night and then he like just left this morning. So now I am about to leave for the lab. It's currently 10, 17 a.m. So it's a little bit of a later start on my day, but today is beautiful, like very hot. It's 75 degrees right now in sunset, which is really, really warm for this part of San Francisco. And it's so sunny and so clear. Spectacular, spectacular weather today. So I think today's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna go drive to work right now spend the day there at work obviously and then I think after work I packed with me some workout clothes so I'll probably go straight to workout after I get off either I will go do boxing at rumble or there's also a gym in my building 
that I could work out in. I haven't really decided and I think I'll probably decide like closer to the end of the day how I'm feeling if I want to do a more intense boxing workout or if I just like want to lift in the gym and then come back. Today I feel better. Like I've been kind of in a low-ish, low energy mood recently and kind of just feeling like very meh and not myself. And today I think I feel a lot better. I think like spending quality time with Sean definitely helped. And then I also took a one minute ice shower, like very, very cold shower this morning. Because I saw um, Andrew Huberman recommends it to do a minute every day. Um, and I think it helped. It was interesting. <laughs> it made me feel really cold obviously but like it woke me up and like put a lot of endorphins to the start of my day so the good weather definitely helps with keeping my mood up and keeping me energized so go ahead and go to work and see where the rest of our day takes us everyone I just got home from the entire day I had a great rumble boxing class and a pretty good day at work so it's currently 6 46 p.m. I think I'm just gonna shower make dinner and then spend the rest of the evening studying for the Casper test because I have the exam on Sunday so that's kind of the update and what we're doing Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Today's date is Thursday, August 24th, and today's gonna be a great day. Let me tell you why it's gonna be a great day. I'll tell you why my morning was great. So I woke up, I took a cold shower, and I'm telling you all, this like ice cold shower for a minute in the morning is like actually cool. It's like legit. Like it makes me feel so awake and so positive. And then I listened to 10 minutes of morning affirmations. Then I went to Starbucks because I had to get ice for my cooler for a patient visit today. And I also got a grande ice shaken apple crisp espresso. Starbucks just dropped their new fall line literally today, August 24th, and I've been waiting for this day and I'm so happy I get to try it. It's fantastic. Highly recommend going to your Starbucks right now and trying the Apple Crisp Shaken Espresso. So good. It has oat milk in it too. Today's just going to be a great day. I get to go in clinic today, which I'm really excited for. And then I also will be running some experiments in the afternoon, which I'm looking forward to. I just haven't done like any physical lab work recently so i'm excited for today and then i'll probably work out at the gym in my building after i get off and then after work probably around 6 p.m i'm gonna see centibel tonight i haven't seen her in so long i'm gonna go see her new apartment she lives in like lower pacific heights and i think it's pretty close to japantown so i think we're gonna just catch up grab dinner maybe in japantown and just chat i'm excited to see her and thursday also means that it's friday eve and i'm really excited for friday because after work Tomorrow, I have a pretty long work day. It's all experimental work. And after it, I am going to, um, I'm going to drive to San Jose and spend the weekend with Sean. I'm just excited. Like, I think my meh phase is starting to chill a little bit. And I think what's really helping me personally is working out, like going to those boxing classes have helped build my confidence and energy so much. And then two, those one minute cold showers, I'm telling you all, like, they make a difference like i feel so energized and it's just such a jolt of awakeness in the morning vlogging has also been helping a lot because it's something that makes me feel really comfortable and something that makes me feel like myself and so doing it kind of reminds me of my passions and my hobbies and what makes me happy so that is what we've got going on today <laughs> lunch break now i got back from a clinic earlier today and finished all of like the prep work that i need to do um i have a little bit of a 
break and then I'm gonna resume lab work in the afternoon but for lunch I am having a salad that I pre-made this morning and yeah work day is going pretty well so far Just like that, another day is over. I'm gonna end this vlog here because tomorrow is Friday, which means the weekend is about to begin and I wanna make sure that I'm spending as much quality time with the people around me as I can and kind of staying off of my electronic devices. However, I really do appreciate all of y'all watching this video today. Thank you for swinging by. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to check out my other ones in my YouTube channel. And yes, thank you so much for being here and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.